I really wish that I didn't have to make this video. I recently spent uh, around $4,000 trying to solve a bug or some kind of issue with the a7S III that I have, the camera that is recording me now. Uh, I went out and I bought an a7 IV and uh, turns out it looks like every new Sony camera that have the new menu layouts are affected by this bug and it's bad. So what it is, is essentially wireless TTL does not work. It, it just does not work at all, unless you're using Sony's own equipment, their flashes or their uh, transmitters. It works really well, actually. There's only one little problem with that. Um, it says it should work for other manufacturers. Also, this flash, this is $550. The transmitter is $350. So, um, a little, little bit expensive because I think this Godox is what like 200 bucks and it's actually really quite good but anyway so what I was hoping to do today is to demo the problem and uh, hope that I don't know Sony see it and fix it or maybe I've been doing something wrong which I highly doubt by the way because I've been playing with this for probably about a month at this point I've learned of settings that I didn't even know existed before trying to make this video I turned things on and off. I factory reset both of these cameras probably at least three times at this point. Uh, I know my my settings now. I, I really I have a good understanding of of what things should be on and off in order to get it to work. I'll talk a little bit more about that later when we get to the Westcott flash. But uh, for now, what I wanted to show you is uh, on camera for all of these, and then I'm going to make them wireless. I've got a little setup over here. I'll bring in, and uh, then I'll show you the problem. So. Here, as you can see, I've got the Sony flash on. On my monitor here, it says that it's flashing negative two, which means it's more than two stops underexposed. And uh, by the way, every single photo I'm gonna be taking on this is gonna be JPEG. That way I can just drop it into my video editing program and uh, I won't have to do any adjustments because like that, that's not the point. You'll, you'll see when, when the exposure's off, you'll, you'll definitely notice it's not a small thing. So here we go, we've got flash running. So this is gonna be the, the base photo. This is gonna look pretty good. So this is Sony flash, looks fantastic. That's actually really quite a good photo. Uh, totally uh, like evenly lit, you know, there, there's nothing here that's super dark, underexposed, anything like that. Uh, I found that the white balance adjustment that this does with the camera is actually really really good i think the godox gets like 98 percent of the way there but man this thing makes it look really really fantastic and that's no surprise because they tout that on the advertising page i think that it talks to the camera about white balance which is really cool but there's a lot of downsides about this thing and we'll get to that at the end but that's our demo photo for the sony now we're going to move on to godox i was surprised at how much i like this flash Genuinely surprised. I'll try and get it at the same angle. I think that's about right. So we've got TTL on and flashing is good. Here we go. There's the Godox one. Looking back and forth. Uh, I, let me redo that one just because the, the Sony flash was in the way. It'll, it'll match better. Okay, there's our Godox one. Basically looks identical. So uh exposure is a little bit different but i think that's because it's a round head instead of it being rectangular so that's okay no real problems there again when you're looking at these images you'll you'll know when something's wrong this is working totally fine ttl on camera for godox works, works perfectly well and there's no adjustments i've baked in uh, it's not you know plus one plus two plus three ttl on this this is all fully ttl the you know camera communication so this is going pretty well so far. I, th I was excited because I got this and it worked. And uh, then we had issues. Here's where the problem starts. So I don't know what's up with this, but Westcott can't even get on camera TTL to work. It just doesn't work. In fact, it's actually the worst result out of all of them, I think, which is a really big shame because I, I love this flash. It's fantastic. The touchscreen is awesome. So what we're gonna do, we put it in TTL, and I think I've got the angle right on this one as well. I've got to stop putting them there. That's not a good idea. And here we go. 
Uh, n no, <laughs> that is that's broken. That does not look correct whatsoever. Uh, it looks nowhere near as close as the other ones. So I think on their website, they say something like, oh, it's compatible and it'll work, but you have to do like plus plus. Uh, how do I do it? I go here and you have to add three stops to the TTL. Let's see what that does. Uh, it looks much better, but now it's too bright. So um, that's not a fix. Adding adding plus and adjusting that way d is not a fix because the whole point of TTL is for it to be automatic and it's just not working at all. So on camera TTL for new Sony cameras, this does not work. It's, it's broken uh, unless you're using manual, I suppose. And really, if I think about it for a second, if you're using manual, you're not affected by any of this whatsoever. You're just using an advertised feature that should work. So now what we'll do is I'll set up the Sony transmitter on here. And I have to remember to go into the settings and turn on wireless flash because they do that for some reason. I don't know why that's a setting. I don't know. But I'm going to set up my, um, my softbox real quick and we'll give this a shot. Okay, we're all ready. I don't know what idiot put boxes there, but let's start with this. We'll do a test, make sure it's all synced up. I have to put it in uh, command. Okay. Uh, you have to enable uh, receiver mode on that. That's what I forgot. So we got testing ready. All good. Here we go. And looks fantastic. Actually, that looks really, really good. It looks better than the original Sony photo, I think for sure, because we're not bouncing off the wall or anything. Uh, very pleased with that. That looks fantastic. I think I'm in focus still. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> I guess I need to readjust that. There we go. So as you can see, though, looking at it, it's it's exposed correctly. There's there's no issues here. That looks like a well lit, normal um, exposure photo. No problems there. So that's good. Again, the problem is, of course, that this little transmitter here costs less than the Godox flash and their transmitter. So, um, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. So I'll take this off real quick. This should be pretty quick and we'll put the Godox one on. I'm running out of space here. Their transceiver is pretty good. It, again, I'm going to do a rundown at the end of this video when I've made my, when I feel like I've made my point of all of the different settings or not settings, like the features of the actual flashes, because I, I really want to talk about how great the touchscreen is on the um, on the Westcott. Let's turn that on. TTL, all good. Can we get a flash? No flash for us. Let's see what's going on. I think I have to turn wireless off in the camera. Turns out I forgot to put the light on the Godox to orange. That's how you know it's in receiver mode. Forgot to do that. Anyway, you thought you would think I'd be an expert by now because I've done this probably at least a dozen times, probably do two dozen times. So we've got flash. Here we go. This is at zero TTL. Uh, no, <laughs> that's, that's not not OK. That just does not work. We can try and do the, the fix, which is just putting it at plus three TTL. Um, definitely looks better for sure. In fact, it almost looks identical to the Sony, but to my eye, you know, just on this little pathetic screen here, it looks uh, a little bit duller, uh, not as much light still, even at plus three. That's not good. So that doesn't work because the plus three isn't isn't a solution. So we'll move on now to the final one, which is going to be the Westcott. I forgot what the full name of it is. Let me have a look, bring it up. It is the F FJ82S. The S moniker at the end is for Sony. Man, I, I really wanted to love this flash, but as soon as I, I plugged in the the, the hot shoe mount and it just didn't even work then. I knew wireless was definitely not going to work as well. So let's swap these out real quick. They're both circular heads, which I like and prefer makes swapping out a little bit easier. 
There we go. It's yelling at me. Let's see, Sony, we'll do settings, make it a client, I think that should work. There we go, perfect. Actually the easiest one to set up. So here we go, three, two, one, done. Nope, <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, it's a little bit brighter than the, than the Godox when it's not plus three. Uh, I think it looks better than the Godox at plus three, but it's obviously, it's, it's too bright. Again, so like, when you look at the Sony one and see how that works, it's great. Like, the, the Sony ones are really fantastic. It's just everything else about them that sucks. Like, the quality of light that you're getting is great. It's everything else that's terrible. So, this doesn't work either. Now, I wish I could demo this on the A7S III, but you'll just have to take my word on it. It doesn't work. These two cameras both have the the new menu system that uh, I like and a lot of other people like, but it just doesn't work. The, the weird thing about the Westcott one too is that the they have an FJ, you know, 82 that's just like normal, and then they have a Sony one. So the normal one works with Canon, Fuji, uh, the, you know, all of them, but they had to make a dedicated one for Sony and it still doesn't work. So I have no idea what's up with that. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I hope this gets fixed. I hope some people make some noise about it because it's, it's really sad because the fact is I needed a flash and I needed a wireless flash. And so now I have to make a decision between all of these and I'm not happy about it because there's no perfect solution. But I think ultimately in the end, I'm gonna go with the Godox one just because they have extra units, more powerful units that I can swap on. And it's not like it doesn't work in manual. So I guess I'm just gonna to have to do manual for everything, which really, really sucks because it's an advertised feature of this camera and it's an advertised feature of the flash. I mean, the crazy thing about this too is that this is my second one because I thought it was a problem with Godox. So then I bought a second one and then I bought the Sony to make sure that, you know, it worked at all if I just brute force it with money, right? And then I tried this one because I like the design of it a lot more and I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. I don't know if this is a bug. I don't know if this is Sony doing it intentionally because they want you to buy their flashes. I wouldn't honestly put it past Sony to do that though because I mean, I'd believe it. If you had any evidence at all, I would probably believe you that Sony did this on purpose to try and get you to buy their overpriced flashes. Because, I mean, I'll, I'll get into that in a bit. But for the most part, this, I think I've made my point at this point in the video. Uh, wireless TTL does not work on new Sony cameras. And if you're someone out there who has bought the A7R5 with the new camera uh, menu and all that, TTL is not gonna work for you and you paid what is it like four thousand four and a half thousand dollars for that camera that advertised a feature that doesn't have it i'm just i'm so upset because i put so much time into this and i really wish that i didn't have to make this video because it's just a waste of everyone's time so i'm hoping it's a bug and that they can fix it but that's all i can say for now so now i'm going to talk about the flashes because i think some of you might find it interesting the Sony flash is really good. I, I like that it has the flag and the diffuser on it. That's fantastic. All the other two that I have don't have that. I like that feature because it's convenient. I wish it was circular though, because uh, I just, I like the, the catch light in the eye more when it's that way. Um, you probably couldn't have these two things though, because it's a circle and how would you get it in the thing? It doesn't make sense. Um, the other thing about this is that it uses double A's. Yeah, I know. It's not a great solution. Uh, I think I've been converted at this point to lithium just because you get like twice the performance out of it in like every metric. So I would definitely prefer a flash that doesn't have double A's in it. The, uh, the hot shoe at the bottom here is all metal, which is fantastic. And it has this gasket on it, this seal to help with weather protection. Fantastic. I also like the little switch that it's got here to help lock it in. It's much better than the twist ones that are just terrible. The UI is crap, it's something from like 2004, not good, wouldn't recommend it. It's just like LCD text. Um, and it's $550, so wrap your head around that somehow. It doesn't make any sense. 
So, I mean, it, it's great quality light, though. I'll give them that. It really does look fantastic. But I'm not thrilled about the rest of it. Uh, the transmitter for it also has the nice click, which is great. It's a metal hot shoe, uh, not metal hot shoe. It's mostly plastic and it doesn't come with a gasket, which doesn't make any sense because that one does. And you'd think you'd want to weather seal it unless this thing isn't weather sealed. Also double A's, not great. Uh, and the menu is just as crap as that one. And it's $350. Again, cheaper than the Godox solution uh, in its entirety in, in wireless. So the Godox one's actually pretty good too. I'd say the quality of this is probably 97, 98% of the way there towards the Sony. The transmitter is double A, not great. Uh, menus, okay, not much better at all than the Sony's. You get a lot of buttons though, which is handy when you're switching, trying to get settings. Uh, the mount is not fully metal and it's got this crap twist to tighten thing. It's just garbage. Um, the flash, like I said, great light quality. It's got this nice twist, turn, click thing like the Sony one had, which is fantastic. Not fully metal hot shoe though, which is very unfortunate. And this one comes with a modeling light. I really like modeling lights. I think they help a lot. Uh, they're just a handy thing to have. The button system on it is actually really quite good. The menu is basically the same as all the others, really nothing special at all. I love the battery. I think it's so cool. When I got this for the first time and I saw how it worked, how you slide it through the unit, I thought that was great. You get a lot of battery life on this. It's really quite good. And then you can add a whole modification system that connects to the circle because it's because it's, um, you know, well, a circle. They sell these little add-on things that just clip on the end with magnets, which is really quite smart. Then we get to the saddest story of them all. So this Westcott one is amazing. The touchscreen on it is like something that I would expect out of a modern flash. Sadly, Hot Shoe is not completely metal and it's using the shitty twisty twist to secure thing, which is terrible. Battery is awesome. This thing, you charge in a dock and it uh, sits right in here. And it has USB-C. Sadly, it's not what you think. I tricked you. Uh, you can't charge it, which I just don't understand. So you, in order to charge this, you have to use the, cade, the cradle, cradle, uh, and that charges with USB-C, but that's the only way to charge the battery. How cool would it be if you could charge this thing with the USB-C? That would make sense, right? Well, you can do that with their transmitter. So I don't really understand the logic there, but like the menu on this and the touch screen is so great and it's still got a modeling light in it and the, the you can still add the add-ons to it, not the Godox ones, but you can still modify it because it's a circle. And it's even got this screw uh, entrance here that lets you mount it on a stand. You can just go boom, like that and leave it. It's so great. You can mount it to so many different things. I love this one. I wish it worked um, basically at all because <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Even when it's on the camera, TTL does not work, which is such a shame. And like I was saying, the transmitter, transmitter is pretty cool actually, because you can get two, three different like clock-in positions, which I think is fantastic. I wish the other ones had that. That's one of the best features about this one. Uh, I also really like how the battery is removable, hot swappable. It's a flat lithium one, but unlike their actual flash, you can charge it with USB-C. Brilliant, fantastic, I love it. I wanna see more of that. Menu's fine, um, it's it's all plastic. Uh, buttons are not, not that great. And the menu's a little bit better than all the other ones, but again, not fully metal hot shoe and twist to secure. Not a great solution, but man, I, I saw the potential in this when I was looking at the listing and I was so disappointed when I got it because it does not work. <laughs> I'm so I'm so tired of all this. I just wanted a flash and I just wanted it to work. And it sucks that for whatever reason, Sony doesn't let them work. So the good news is though, if you use manual, you're completely unaffected. Go out, shoot, have a good time, and uh, I'll be sitting indoors as it's raining because I can't TTL.
which really sucks. So look, I, I hope that, I don't know, someone at Sony sees this and realizes, oh, that actually is a bug. Let's send out a patch. But the problem with that is I refuse to believe that Westcott and Godox didn't know about this problem and ship these advertising these working with uh, newer cameras because I think this is like brand new. This is like a few months old from release. I refuse that they didn't notice this and contact Sony to say, hey, you guys, you have an issue. TTL doesn't work on the new menus and there's some kind of bug there. Our, our old flashes aren't working with the new cameras. That conversation had to have happened. And Sony either said, oh, thank you. We'll, we'll try and make a fix for it. And then just never did or said, well, it's intentional because we want people to buy our uber overpriced flashes and not give the consumer a choice, which really sucks. So I hope it's a bug. I hope it can get fixed. But basically all of this except the Godox is going back to the store. I was really excited to get this camera because I was thinking, because I use an A7S III for basically everything that I do, I was hoping that this camera would just have a feature or a newer version of the OS that isn't affected by the bug, but it is. So I have no reason whatsoever to keep this camera I was going to use it as a dedicated photo camera and the a7s3 is a dedicated video camera but that's not going to happen now this is going back the flashes are going back i even have like little extra things that i got like chargers and stuff that have to go back because it doesn't work and i'm not going to wait and rely on sony to put an update out because they are probably the worst camera manufacturer in the world when it comes to software updates so i hope this was informative i hope this influences your decision if you're out there looking for a camera to do a uh, TTL wireless flash, this is not the system. Uh, don't buy Sony. In fact, I'm so upset with this, I'd probably just stop recommending Sony cameras for photography in general, because who knows what other bugs there are that I don't even know about. Like, if you add four manual flash wireless flashes, you, it won't work. They only do three or something like that. Some kind of bug in it. I don't know. But I hope it gets fixed, and I hope this influences your decisions and saves you time because I spent so much time, you know, trying to fix this problem that it just turns out there is no fix for it. Anyway, I'm ranting now. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and uh, hopefully you never see me again.